Welcome our speaker. So we all know Snooky from Jersey Shore <laughs> and Patricia Crenshaw, the lady that took her daughter to the tanning salon, or she was accused of that. Well, we make fun of these people, but really, we all do the same thing pretty much, just not to the extreme they do it. Um, out of the survey in the class, 11 out of 15 people have been tanning at least once in their life. And actually, nine of the people said that they know someone with skin cancer. And out of those nine people, seven said that skin cancer was caused by tanning. Um, but even with the stats, people continue to go tanning. 75% of the class has. So if you know it's dangerous, why do people tan? Um, my best friend's mom actually has skin cancer, so I've seen the effect that it can have on families. And uh, so, three reasons you should go, shouldn't go tanning is the effects that it has on your eyes, the effects it has on your skin, and the long-term health effects it has. So, the first one is the negative effects on your eyes. Um, iCenter.com says tanning can cause photokeratitis, which is actually the sunburning of your cornea. And it can cause skin cancer around your eyes. Um, wearing goggles cannot always help because it can be too big or damaged, anything, but it does actually help. Um, the top picture you see is Without goggles, the UVA lights go straight through the eye, which damages your cornea. And then the second one is with goggles, and it doesn't go through it at all. Um, the sun can also be harmful. It's not just tanning beds, so sunglasses can help. About.com says years of the sunlight can actually cause cataracts. And these are just more things that could happen to your eyes. Um, skin cancer, macular degeneration, gross on the whites of your eyes, cataracts, and photokeratitis. The second thing I want to talk about is the health of your skin. Daily Glow magazine says that it makes you look 10 to 15 years older than you actually are. And this picture shows it really well. Um, it prematurely ages you, and it makes your skin more wrinkled and leathery. Um, I used to go tanning, and I found that I would get freckles on my forehead, and I never really thought anything about it, and I still have the freckles to this day. And I learned that the freckles are your melanin protecting you from the UV light, and the more freckles you have, the higher risk you are at getting skin cancer. So it's not a good thing to have freckles. <laughs> Um, so that brings me to my third topic, which is cancer, um, the long-term health effects. Um, tanning is directly linked to cancer, and this is a quote from the Skin Cancer Foundation. Indoor ultraviolet tanners are 74% more likely to, to develop melanoma than those who have never tanned indoors. Melanoma is a deadly type of cancer, and it's all for the price of being beautiful, or what people perceive as being beautiful. Skin cancer isn't one of the cancers that's mainly talked about it. It's mostly breast cancer or heart disease. Um, but the Center of Disease Control says that skin cancer is the most common form of cancer in the U.S. 9,200 people die each year from skin cancer. And it's actually more men than women have been found to have skin cancer. So it's not just a problem with girls. So to conclude, it's a very serious issue, tanning. You've learned about the negative effects it has on your eyes, your skin, and the long-term health effects it has. So my challenge is to you is to learn to love your skin you're in because it could save your life.